hello everybody welcome back to the channel this is austin code cipher back again with another simple tutorial on web development so still continuing this framework called materialize css i'm going to be showing you how you can create a simple contact form and with this you will do some homework for yourself creating a registration form a login form any kind of form that you'll find interesting or useful to your website you'll be creating so don't mind about the information below it's all fake you'll be contacting nobody so let's concentrate on this form so as you can see when i focus my cursor there you see that little animation the label slides up the same applies to the email the same applies to the message and we have also got some little bit of validation here when you try to write in the email and we leave you see it brings that red border around it so telling you with that little tool tip that please include an art so when we press art and again we leave the field nothing it will still be invalid so when we put gmail.com you see the difference it will bring some green color so i'm all i'm all going to show you all those steps on how you can create this simple layout or contact form so let's get into the code and get started so this is the page and i have already included some stuff now there is some extra link here it's for the materialize icons i'm going to leave it in the description below where you're going to get this link i'm going to leave the link to where you can click and go to that site and include that link in your project so first of all we included the css materialize css so it's in this folder called css and the file is this it's minified and below here went ahead and include the javascript for that framework and i created the container you already know about this it gives some fixed width around your web page so what we are going to do is create a div with a class of row and then we create a div with a class of call SQL of I already explained about this grid system and M4. Now what we are going to do is create some div, another div with a class of card panel. So this is the one you're seeing here. So this is the first div we are creating. It's having that panel. So we're just going to put that H, H2, H1, I don't know, anything we shall be putting. So we are going to say contact us for this case. Then below we put the paragraph. Sorry, this has to be in lowercase, the P. like it in lowercase then i'm going to carry this fake text and i place it there so let's first save this and see what's on the page so we are having this simple card panel so very very simple now since we are done with this column let us create another column with a class of call oh sorry space s2 and this one is going to be m5 let's make them 6 6 so they be equal in 12 let me first see how it is right now i guess that's better let me try to center everything in this I'll say center we're good to go now for the icon we're going to put it below above the title we just say I use the I tag then give it a class of material 
material dash icons so this is how you include the materialized css framework icons remember in bootstrap we would write something like a span i'm just showing you and we would say class equals graphicon and again graphicon dash email so that's how we include an icon using bootstrap but here in materialize we just say this i tag for the icon you give it a class of material dash icons then you write the name of the icon let's say email so here we don't put stuff like bootstrap we do it like this material dash icons and you write the name of the icon you want and to, to be displayed when it's small you just come back this side and you say either you want large can be large small tiny so this is large we have small sorry we have small so stuff like that small large medium some which is medium tiny and go on i'm also going to make a story about this icon so that you get well with them so we are using the medium size and we are able to get them using this link you're seeing here now let's create a simple form here we are done with that let's now start with our form so for the form still we are going to create a div inside it and we are going to give it a class of card dash panel same stuff we are just repeating ourselves so inside here we create a form form tag inside that form tag we create a div with a class of input field input dash field then inside here let me first scroll up so follow steps we just we first created this column then we are creating a card panel where the form is going to sit and inside the form we are creating this div with a class of input field then we put our input it's going to be text and the name will be name still if you're using some server scripting languages can be username anything that you can access using in a server scripting language then we're going to put an id let's say user then below it we create a label make sure it's follow step by step then i'm going to call this one username the label then for the attribute you say for user the id we created here so it's a label for user so this username it's a label for this input text field sorry so when we save you see when we put our cursor there it goes up so what we're going to do is do the do this for every field you're going to be creating just carry this div paste it then this one is going to be email name will still be email the id will still be email then we say for email so this label is for the input field having the id of email then we change also this one to email so when we save this and preview it in the browser we are still going to get the same field very very simple now i've decided let's decrease on the size because they are too wide that work for us yeah they will work for us now i was wondering why they are not centered we have some misspelling of the word container here it's supposed to be here container refresh so they should be centered somewhere there are stuff like that let's increase on this one size very good now we are having the username email so let's go to the text area since it's a contact form so we are going to copy this div with a class of input field 
and instead of input this one is going to be a text area so we just write text area then close it this side the id since they will be typing there some messages say message even name message type oh it's already text area yes it's already text area so we shall say for message and here we shall just say enter message oh, sorry i'm back somebody was calling me so we are just going to write here enter message so save this and preview this now we are having some problem here we can see our animation still works but they are displaying for us this default html text area so what we are going to do is come to the text area tag we just add another class called materialize dash text area so this is the class you need to add to the text area you just say materialize dash text area and reload this you can see we still do the same functionality you just place enter and it expands by itself so very cool now let's add some little bit of validation on this input field you can say i can put r and i go away they still display nothing so we want to display some red color to the user when he or she leaves or puts an invalid email so what you need to go go to the input field of email and just add a class of validate only that refresh the page very refresh so when you come to email and we put f and go away you see they will give us that red color that here the input or oh, email you have input here it's wrong put art and go away still red color until you finish it like f.com and they will display that green color for success so guys i guess that's it let's just add the button here just say input type sub or oh, submit the name can still be submit so the value let's say send refresh and this is what we are having so to add some styling we just add a class of btn save this and you see now it's a nice looking button so guys subscribe to the channel if it was useful to you like the video share it on different social medias and i'll see you in the next tutorials uh, guys before we go you can see here we are having some text shadow around it box shadow so what you need to do is go to the panel that has that form which is this one just say z dash depth and the number or the shadow you want let's say three refresh you see now we have some shadow around this box or form so that's how you can add a little shadow around your form you can also align this button to the right and see but now we get some little problem of floating so to fix that you just go below the button and just create a div with a class of clear fix the same applies to other frameworks like bootstrap you just say clear fix so sorry for giving you all these extra tips so that's it guys subscribe to the channel once again and i'll see you in the next tutorials peace